All right, Mr. Delgado here. Um, I wanted to go back over problem H. Um, I got a little confused for a moment uh, in class, so I wanted to straighten that out. Um, <clears throat> I made it a little harder than it had to be, and it's really not that. It's really not going to be that hard. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to get that basic fact. And so you see that 8 and that 4. That's our basic fact. So the way to do that is we're going to look at this number right here. And we're going to say that's 8 of something. So it's 8 tens is what it is. And we're going to divide that by 4. And that's how we're going to get that basic fact. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do 8 tens, which is 80, divided by 4. And then we're going to take that result and we're going to divide it again by 100 because 4 times 100 is 400. So or that's how we're splitting up that 4 and the 100 and then we're just dividing it separately. So that's what we did here. So we did 8 tens divided by 4 and that equals 2 tens which equals 20. Now that we've done that, now we're going to divide by 100. So if we divide 20 by 100, then we can use our place value method of how many times is that 2 going to shift place values. So, and it's going to, since it's divided by 100, that 2 is going to move two spaces to the right. So that would end us up in, here's the tens place, we got the ones place, so that's going to be the decimal, which is the tenths place. So that's going to be two tenths. So we would replace this with its answer, which was 20, and then we would divide by 100 divided by 100. And we just did that down here, so that would be 2 tenths. And that's how you show work for that problem.